What's going on everybody? This is your man Jamar coming to you guys today again with another video on how to do dissectioning inside of the lettering that I did in one of my latest posts or one of my posts I did about a week or two ago. It's real quick, simple, easy. Just follow along and meet me over at the screen and I'll show you guys how to do this real quick. All right, so we are now in the document that I, this is the finished product and everything. So as you see, here's the textures inside the letters. So let's just hop over to another document. I already got one started. And you just wanna type out any word that you wanna do this in. Doesn't matter what the word is. So I just type out word, <laughs> just to keep it simple. So what we wanna do since we type out our word, we just wanna give that, text at least a five on the stroke and then we want to go to the colors over here in your uh, panel over here and you just want to change it to a I'll click on this again change to a white and then by doing that it gives you a base coat of something to actually put a texture on so that's the reason why you want to change that over to a white and then the next thing you want to do you can either go to layers and hit control return and add control uh turn it into like curves or you can just do it on your keyboard control return so with that said now you should be able to click on each letter individually and that way you can start manipulating them all right so now since we're done with that what's so cool about affinity designer and again i i didn't mention that in the beginning i am inside of affinity designer the desktop version but i actually did this in the ipad version as well so i mean it doesn't matter which one you use so what's so cool about this you can hop over to the pixel persona and actually do texture work that's one thing i do like about the program so um now i just want to click on a letter it doesn't matter which letter and i'm gonna go ahead and use the grunge four to start out with kind of give you the texture that i used on two of the words and just start shading and as you see look at that got a shading inside that w like i said it's so like that and go into the O and that's pretty much it we're just gonna finish this up and I'm gonna go over to pencils and I'm gonna go to my 6B mechanical pencil and now I'll give you the texture uh, on the other two letters like I did in my post as well and there you go just scribble in there and that pretty much gives you the uh, the effect of how I did that. Like I said, this is uh, something that I did a couple of weeks ago that I posted. And I was like, man, why not just do a video on this? Kind of show people how I did it. It wasn't. Uh, and another thing that I noticed before, if you take the stroke away, it gives you that like natural distressed like look it's more uniform but if you want to like manipulate a little bit you can make it look like it's a little bit more like naturally distressed in the shirt but hey it's pretty cool but that's that's pretty much it you know that's how this became what it was you know this right here this t-shirt design it goes on a black garment it can go on a, a light gray garment so yeah so if you all have any questions just comment below or hit me up on social media. I have all those in the in the description. And yeah, just hit me up if you need any help with this. I appreciate everybody watching today. Hopefully this helps you out. And I will see you guys later.